Good morning, youth. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, this is your midweek encouragement video. We're going to jump in. Uh, we're going to be in Proverbs chapter 21, and we're going to be starting in verse 9 this morning. And this is going to be one where the teacher notes again the rewards of wise living and contrasts that with the trouble that wickedness brings on a person. Um, so Proverbs chapter 21, starting in verse 9, it says... It is better to live in a corner of the housetop than in a house shared with a quarrelsome wife. The soul of the wicked desires evil. His neighbor finds no mercy in his eyes. When a scoffer is punished, the simple becomes wise. When a wise man is instructed, he gains knowledge. The righteous one observes the house of the wicked. He throws the wicked down to ruin. Whoever closes his ear to the cry of the poor will himself call out and not be answered. A gift in secret averts anger, and a concealed bribe strong wrath. When justice is done, it is a joy to the righteous, but terror to evildoers. One who wanders from the way of good sense will rest in the assembly of the dead. Whoever loves pleasure will be a poor man. He who loves wine and oil will not be rich. The wicked is a ransom for the righteous and the traitor for the upright. It is better to live in a desert land than with a quarrelsome and fretful woman. So again here, the teacher is doing another um, compare and contrast, wisdom and wickedness and the results of living in these two ways. For wickedness, um, he says that they, they desire evil, they, they have no mercy, they are used as a negative example to teach others. They are put to ruin, they will receive their due treatment, or they terror at justice because they have dealt injustice. Like they don't want justice to be done because they have done something wrong. And, and the teacher here ultimately says that they make their rest with the dead. It's not great. Um, like even, even the best parts of that list are not good. And in contrast to this, the wise heeds instruction. They, they learn from the consequences and the ways of the wicked ones. They actually help facilitate justice to those around them. They give without asking for credit. They're not, when they give and when they try to do good to someone, they're not looking for an attaboy or a, or a kickback from that. They love the right things. They care about the things that God cares about. And, and there's two notes here um, about wealth and, and relationships in particular. Verses 9 and 19 have something to tell us about relationships. It is better to live in the corner of a housetop than in a house shared with a quarrelsome wife. And then verse 19 it is better to live in a desert land than with a quarrelsome and fretful woman. When we surround ourselves and seek to enter into, in, in this case, it is, um, I believe, romantic and commitment relationships with these people who are described as quarrelsome. Um, the, the teacher here is trying to communicate that you're signing yourself up for trouble. And, and this is one of the importance of surrounding yourself with good people. Um, who are the people in your corner that at the end of the day you turn to when, when things get tough? And are, are, when they do so, are they gonna quarrel with you? Um, or will they be people who, who help point you back towards the wisdom of God? Um, the last note here is a, a note about wealth. Verse 17 says, whoever loves pleasure will be a poor man. He who loves wine and oil will not be rich. Um, if you, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Um, if you want to be rich in the pleasures of this world, uh, you, you're going to have to play the game of this world a little bit. And that means using money to do so. Um, and so if you want the newest thing, if you always want the next best, um, prepare to not have. May we heed this wisdom. Let's pray.
Dear Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your wisdom. I pray that as we seek to live out wisdom, that we would learn from those around us, that we would learn how to love the right things, love the things that you love, God. I pray that you would help us to have relationships that are healthy and good. Um, I pray that we would avoid relationships that are quarrelsome, that are just always kind of looking for a fight and an argument. I pray that we would seek peace in our relationships. I pray that we would steward our money well, that we would use it to your glory, um, and that we would also be able to find the right type of enjoyment in the things that you've given us. We love you and thank you. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Alrighty, guys. Just a reminder, there is no youth group this week. It is Easter Sunday, so we will be celebrating Jesus' resurrection. But we would love to have you for Easter Sunday service and Good Friday service, the Friday prior, um, in just a couple days. So love y'all. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>